wanting to show Bond kind of where he would come back to a sort of a spiritual home for himself. And uh, in many ways, you know, it feels really iconic seeing Bond in this environment. There is, a, in many ways, the, the things that we've shot here, in particular Bond's house, uh, sort of feels like a sort of, there's something very classic and iconic about it. Um, reminds me, you know, seeing him with a spear gun, uh, seeing the very graphic nature of those shutters and the silhouettes and even some of the club stuff feels very much like, you know, we're back in Dr. No territory. And uh, in a way, yeah, I think we've, we always felt this would be, you know, the perfect fit. And now we had it for our story where in a way we wanted to see Bond relax. This is where he's most comfortable. In a way, he's sort of left behind the, the stresses of the job back in, in England and he's, uh, he's made a nice home for himself here. Uh, we always prefer to use local support and labor and when we can and uh, for the construction that we've been doing here, yeah, that's the way we've, we've been doing it. Steve Bone is great about coming and, and getting in touch with all the people that know how to do this kind of work and, uh, and they've been incredible. I mean, some of these uh, sets they've created in a pretty short period of time are absolutely stunning. Uh, besides Bond's house, uh, we also created a nightclub, which was a lot of fun. Um, and in that set, we had uh, about 150 local extras, which all looked totally amazing. And so it's been really just a wonderful experience working with the, the local Jamaican people here and the Jamaican crews. Kerry brings a lot of youthful energy. There's a lot of dynamism to the way he shoots every scene. There's a lot of movement. Nothing's ever slow or static. Um, and also, he's got a very strong, uh, you know, his cinematography background certainly means he's a very strong graphic visual sense. And, uh, you know, seeing he, he's very meticulous about the way he likes his sets prepared and dressed and lit. So uh, when you see it all come together, uh, you realize quite how he is really a maestro at tying all these things together. But, uh, you know, not being too fussed about it either. Uh, he really brings a lot of unique details and is always constantly making everything better, always improving, always tweaking, always willing to find something that's uh, better than it was before. So it's been great to see how he, how he brings it all together. This film is going to be a very unique emotional journey for the character of Bond. I think uh, we're going to take this character into places where we have not yet seen him go. Uh, and I think that the way that Daniel in particular can play this character, it will be really uh, amazing to see, to see how he pulls it off and to, to watch this arc uh, that we are uh, making for him in this film. So I think we're all very excited to see how that shapes. Yeah, this has been really fun and exciting to be shooting another iconic car chase and especially with the Aston Martin DB5. Aston was extremely generous in being able to help us make eight vehicles which all had to be modified in different ways. We had to have pod versions, we had to have versions that were reinforced for the high-speed driving. Um, some were just gadget cars uh, that had all of Corbold's bells and whistles. So it was really fun to see all of that brought into play and, uh, and see the amazing choreography that the stunt team has done with Lee and his whole team um, for the entire journey of it.